Jobtron. Some people ask me how I get anything done. Me either. Video game commercials have been around for as long as video game commercials. Me either. But then you'd see an ad for Sonic the Hedgehog next to the Cheerio Bee, and you're like, holy shit, infiltration to the mainstream! Because, you know, you know about the mainstream back then. Commercials usually went one of two ways. The first way being actual gameplay that made you want to play the game, and the second way that was some sort of hipster 90s shit like this that made you want to puke over everything you love. Doesn't make you want to play the game. Doesn't make you want to play any game. Just makes you want to go read a book. Well, those are obsolete anyways. What do you think of this, Jacques? No. Oh yeah, and you're watching top 10 video game commercials. Number 10. Let's be honest, the first time you heard a Super Mario World, you probably went like, What's you, pussycat? But hell man, you didn't need to play it to find out how awesome it was. Just let this guy who has no idea what a video game is tell you how awesome it was. Mario World, created especially for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. It's a bit more exciting, a bit more challenging, a bit more graphic, a bit more colorful. The best part about this commercial is only about five of the things he says are actually relatable to Super Mario World. A bit more realistic, a bit more sound, a bit hotter, a bit cooler, a bit weird, a bit more revolutionary. I'm sorry, a little more realistic? Uh, compared to what? Super Mario Bros. 2? The one where you're in a fucking dream throwing turnips at ostriches? Yeah, I guess it is more realistic than that. For a lot of us out there, this commercial meant business. It was the first time we got to see a glimpse of our favorite games right there on the telly. Break out your wallet, daddy, I'ma break the bank! That was me as a kid. I was hip, okay? Number 9. Elements for a successful video game commercial in the 80s. Nerdy kid, check. Not actually a real type of person kid, check. Little to no gameplay, check a Rudy. Did you see the latest Nintendo newsletter? Whoa, nice graphic. You mean you haven't played it yet? This is some of the worst commercials have to offer in the way of stereotyping. I mean, who's the demographic here? The cool kid or the nerdy kid? That cool kid reading the Nintendo magazine looks like he just got his hands on his dad's Playboy collection. Whoa, nice graphics. I'd like to get my hands on that game. I mean, who's ever just taken a look at a game magazine and been like, holy shit, them graphics! Little did you know, though, the target demo was actually the Gangsta Kids. It's the legend of Zelda, and it's really rad. Those creatures from Ghana are pretty bad. Octorox Tech Tech's levers, too. But with your help, our hero pulls through. Look, I know I'm white, but these kids made me look like fucking P. Diddy, aight? Number 8. I know a lot of those video game elitists like you guys were all like, This Dead Space 2 ad campaign is just proving the old gamer stereotype to be true and making us all look bad and childish. Well, you know what? Have some goddamn fun for once, huh? In case any of you didn't catch the Your Mom Hates Dead Space 2 viral ad campaign, let me fill you in. Basically, they took a whole bunch of middle America conservative mothers, put them in front of Dead Space 2, and filmed them going, Our nation is going down the drain, ban the modern warfares and the sour skittles. Oh, yeah, I'll show you my opinion. This is, it's, it's gross. I hated it. I, uh, that's awful. No wonder society is so corrupt. We'll have a society of criminals. If I ever see it somewhere in the future, uh, I will personally take a hammer and, and slam it. Can't you just take it for what it is? It's fake, people! Let me tell you, kids aren't that stupid. Although they're stupid, but they're not that stupid. Just because you see killing in a video game, it doesn't mean you're actually gonna go do it in real life. No shit, do I really have to explain this? Crazy mass murders have been around since before Pong, actually. Space War, if you're gonna fucking comment and be... Where'd they get their training? The Andy Griffith Show? There's no implied message to this ad campaign. The meat of it is basically just this lady doing her thing. Ah! Woo! Ah! Look at that monster! <laughs> Woo! That is never gonna get old. Y'all may shit on it. But you know what? I'm just here to have a good time. And a good time was certainly had watching these. Thanks, EA. Number seven. Does the Wii really need commercials? Back in 2006 and 7, everyone was going nuts over the thing. You couldn't even shimmy down to block with your homies out here in front of them rooftops. You hear about that motion? This joke is over. But here we have the Re Would Rike to Pray ad campaign, the most politically correct commercial Nintendo's ever put out. 
Here's what's going on. We got two Japanese business type dudes driving around America in a smart car looking for sushi or Yao Ming or some shit. And they're going door to door disturbing entire families. And the family's just waiting door like, what's going on? We got an And two Japanese dudes are like, we would like to play. And then they're just having the time of their lives playing Wii Sports like their old folks in retirement home. Just like Nintendo always wanted. To kill the hardcore market! But what happens if they run into some Brumkins who aren't all Nintendo crazy? Number six. So one day, Sony was doing all the cocaine, and they were like, Hey Steve, we got like four million of these units to push, why do you want to sell it? I know, Sony, okay, that you need to sell your consoles, but what is this about? All right, I see. I've got your angle with this whole demonic baby thing. You're selling to the promising demographic of absolutely no one! And you might think that this is their first offense, but I implore you to check this out. Come out and play! I can't! I'm playing nuts! Honestly, for something as big as the PS3, you just need something that'll stick. And stick with us, it did. For many a sleepless night. Don't stop. Number five. Now I know I'm supposed to be sitting up here being Mr. Commentary Prom Queen King, but how am I supposed to comment on this? Just look at it. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Hudson. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the fuck is this? <laughs> Fucking sponge cake! Fuck! Ah, uh, let's see, what was that game rated again? Oh yeah, E10+. Plus. No, that's it. I'm done. It's over. Number four. Long, long ago, before a game console was judged by how much brown and muscles it could simulate, it was judged by the amount of bits that it had. So the question is, what exactly is a bit? Well, fuck if I know, but if it had more of them, oh yeah! If you look back, you can clearly see the evidence of bit importance everywhere. Turbo Graphics 16, Nintendo 64. But I mean, we all knew at the core it was all about the software. Everyone but, uh, Atari. Some of you believe your system is the most advanced in the universe. Let's review the numbers. Sega Genesis is 16 bits. 3DO is 32 bits. The Atari Jaguar is 64 bits. Which is more advanced? Clifford! Uh, who hired this lady? Seriously? This was going to move your systems? This lady was gonna make people want to buy an Atari Jaguar? No! No! Well, I mean, she must be right. 64 is a bigger number than both 32 and 16 combined. Let's see what all those bits can do. Numbers sure are great. Number three. Let's face it, it's not necessarily that things were better when we were kiddies, it's just that we had less to worry about and everything was about cheese nips. I don't know. It's... That said, though, there were just some things that were inherently good, no matter what your age. Two unrelated things as such are Robin Williams and Ocarina of Time. But hold on. What's that? What's that off in the distance? What's that on the horizon? Could it be? The first time I saw you, I knew we'd be linked forever. For you, I traveled to the four corners of the world. I faced adversity. I became a hero. Dad. I saved your kingdom. Dad. Yes, Zelda? Are you mixing me up with the princess again? 
Hard to say, you're both pretty magical. <laughs> Number two. In the current year of 2011, Mario Kart's got so many incarnations, they decided to give up and name the newest one Mario Kart 7. Good name, guys. GG. Regroup next week. But it wasn't always this way. Who remembers the very first Mario Kart? Yeah, that one. What's the first thing your mind goes to when you think of that one? Is it blinding speeds? Is it chaos? Is it epic maneuvers? No. No, not at all. That one sucks. But that's just my opinion, apparently, because this guy thinks it's F-0-3050. Let's go racing in Super Mario Kart Funny Car Madness! Only on Super NES, turn the track into a giant mud dip. Burn rubber on ice, litter ass laws, mix it up with the big boys. This is how it is, big foot dropping trucks. See Yoshi's go-kart really go! What shows, banana peels, turtle shells, giant old bikes. Check your rear view and make a neat test. Or go into battle mode and ruin his day. Too speed, fast and way too fast. Too Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I'm not letting that slide. Let's go back. Who speeds? Fast and way too fast. Who speeds? Fast. Way too fast. Brilliant. For the past 10 years, I've heard people knock Halo for no other discernible reason than the bandwagon effect. And every time I've heard the callous argument that it's just a shit overrated game, I've thought to myself the exact same thing. Why can't they just believe? Whoa, what happened? How'd we get here? How exactly do you market a game that will make more money than some small countries do in an entire year? Easy. You go, oh my god, it's $5 million. Make some shit. Make some shit they did. Some good shit. The Halo 3 Believe campaign is my favorite video game marketing campaign of all time, simply because of how much emotion it was filled with and how much it made me want to become part of the adventure. It's, it's genius, it just feels so real and raw. And not to mention, these commercials were just plain beautiful. Yeah, okay, I don't really have anything else to say. See you guys next time. Hey, and don't drive fast on the wrong side of the road. It's dangerous. Wow, did you put a new, new scarf on this week? Because you look, you look beautiful. Hey, if you want to go see my other stuff, you can go to normalboots.com because that's my website. I maintain it. And, uh...